Hello, and welcome back to Mediocre Painting with me, your host, Wayne. Recently, a friend of mine was trying to paint a resin miniature without using the proper primer. And let me tell you, I'm here to lay down the law when it comes to priming and painting procedures. I have a license to kill anyone's dreams of becoming a better painter unless they get their shit together and start doing things the right way. Does using the correct priming techniques on your model make you a less mediocre painter? If I'm an example, then obviously not. But I don't want to see you putting all that hard work into your man dollies if the paint is just going to flake off as soon as they hit the game table. Here's a tip. If you're painting resin or metal models, wash them first. And then you're better off hitting them with a coat of matte sealer before you go anywhere near them with a primer. That matte sealer helps basically secure anything that's left on that model of that nasty old mold release. I use Vallejo Acrylic Matte Spray Sealer, but any spray and matte sealer should do just fine. On this particular model, I followed it up with a coat of Games Workshop Gray Sear Primer. It smells like cat piss, so, you know, you're welcome. Anyway, let's get back into painting this screaming man. Once you got your model properly primed, you can pretty much paint it just like you would any other little dude. Now, I know it can be intimidating to even think about painting a whole army of these guys, but once you have your colors picked out and a few basic skills under your hat, the hours will just fly by. Don't get too caught up in the little details. And remember, nobody's perfect. Adding finishing details like basing and a splash of Nuln Oil, or as we call it here at the shop, liquid talent, can really bring your little man to life. Coincidentally, Liquid Talent is also the name I used to dance under. Boy, it's funny how your mind starts to wander when you're painting. What do you folks think about while you're painting? Do you listen to music? I've been listening to a lot of Screaming Trees lately. I don't know. Maybe it's the name. Maybe it's because I'm a 90s buff. I miss the grunge era. It was a better time. Oh, hey, look here. We're doing the eye technique that we went over on a previous video. Can't fight very well if you can't see. Cheaty micro pen and eyeballs. Touching up on the face. Peeping. Give him some teeth, and that's teeth with an F. Good dental plan here in medieval times. Pearly white. More liquid talent in the form of flesh wash. Make sure I get this completely out of frame for you guys. Boom, face details. Scale 75 has some of the best metals in the paint industry at this time, in my opinion. The pigments are really finely ground and it just flows off the brush. I'm not being endorsed by them or anything. I just really like their paint. Conversely, I'll say something bad about them. I hate their skin tones but maybe that's just because I suck and can't get the hang of using them. Metal everywhere. Shameless product placement of the Citadel paint handle. I hate that I love them.
Touching up with a little bit of gray sear on the brush. Contrast paint is your cheaty friend. I talked a lot of shit about these contrast paints when they first came out, and now I use the out of them. Does that make me a hypocrite? Probably. Put it on a little bit thick. That's thick with two C's. Not three, just two. Got a body contour tunic going on there. And yeah, I'm painting out of the pot. Sue me. Liquid talent for all your mediocre painting needs. Look to Nuln Oil. A little bit of highlight for that middle. Make his sword look nice and sharp. Did the boots too. Little gold with some bling. Don't mind the rest of my pot from a bad shaker ball. Also courtesy of Scale 75. Doing the line on the shield. See me using a lot of coat to arms. Not a recreation, but this is the spiritual inheritor of the old Games Workshop line. So if you like the old GW paints from the 90s, well, coat to arms is your line because they pretty much match all those old colors. Even got some of the old names. The ones that they could get away with that weren't copyrighted. Out of frame. Out of frame. Good job, Wayne. You're out of frame. Glue that shield on so he can protect himself. All them thoughts, trying to get that thickness. Hey, I'd say this little guy looks pretty good. If you enjoyed this episode of MPWW, let me know with a big old thumbs up and a friendly comment. 
It boosts our engagement and helps us drag ourselves up that impossible hill that is the YouTube algorithm. If you didn't like this video, that's okay. Just give it a thumbs down. Jerks over in Radcliffe probably already beat you to that already, but I'm not even bothered by it. It also helps our engagement. Thanks for the support, folks. Catch you next time.